What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today we're going to be taking care of the first bit of all of the wisps in the game. First beginning with the obsidian field lands. This is going to be for side quest 22, Eerie Apparitions in the Night. Vesa is going to tell you that you need to gather all 107 wisps in the entire game. Each of the region holds 20. Super nice of them for the map to be able to hold 20 markers. And then there are seven in town. As you're going through this, it doesn't matter if you gathered some of the wisps beforehand or not, I am going to be going over all the locations and making it super easy to follow along. In addition, if you're unsure about if you've gathered wisps from a certain area, you could talk to Vesa who's going to be right here on the map, right next to the location where you found your first wisp. Future Austin doesn't realize this yet. Speak with Vesa and she's going to tell you how many wisps you've already gathered and then she's going to give you a breakdown of area by area. In addition, there's a variety of rewards that you're going to be getting depending on how many wisps you have found. For five, you get an oval stone. Ten wisps is for a rare candy. Twenty is for a seed of mastery. Thirty is for a dusk stone. Forty for a large experience candy. Fifty for a linking cord. Sixty for five grit pebbles. Seventy for a reaper cloth. Eighty for three seeds of mastery. Ninety for two extra large experience candies. And one hundred wisps will grant you three grit rocks of the total 107 in the game. I guess I should go through the town ones first. I don't know if I should do them now or, or in the last episode. I'll do them right now because we just need to walk around a little bit. While some of these wisps do appear during the day, I am going to recommend to sleep until night. Some of them only show up at night and all of them are significantly more visible at night. On my screen right now is going to be the location of all seven of the wisps in the town. I am going to recommend once you go to it to not remove it, but to change the icon. That way you can actually follow what's going along. And if these are the only seven markers that you have on your map, you should have a total of 13 remaining. We're gonna be starting at the top left. From the training grounds, we're just gonna go behind the building. And over here, boom, wisp number one. There are five left in the area. I think I got one by accident. For our second wisp, this is going to be behind the galaxy building. If you're in the middle of the Mr. Mime quest, then this can be a little inconvenient, but regardless, you just need to hug the right hand side and you're going to come up to this wisp right here. For our third wisp, we're actually going to head behind the crafting building. And over here, if you look to the right, boom, wisp. From the fast travel point of the farm, if you look to the right behind one of the small sheds, you will see the wisp that you need to go grab. Go grab it. It has been grabbed. From the fast travel point, that brings you to the farm. If you look to the left, you're going to be seeing this hut. Hopefully it's not still under construction, but you can cut between the two and see it right there. We're going to make our way around the building and making our way around the back. We are going to be getting access to this wisp right here. Oh, I know what the seventh one is. This is the one that you get in the tutorial that you can't skip. That's that's what that one is. So. There's not actually one there. You already have that one. I think you have to grab that one to actually leave that screen. So that's that's the seventh one. Now we're going to head to the practice field for the last one in town. From the practice field, we're just going to be heading out toward the sea, toward Prelude Beach, where you first caught the three starter Pokemon. And as approaching, you are going to be seeing it. Do keep in mind, you have to be at nighttime in order to see some of these. So I recommend keeping it nighttime for all of them. Now that we've already gathered seven, we're going to be getting the five Wisp reward, which is an oval stone. Here in the Obsidian Fieldlands, all 20 berry markers you're going to be seeing on your screen are going to be the locations of all of the Wisps that you need. Once again, I am going to recommend once you collect it, do not remove the stamp, but change the stamp to something else. So I use a very simple system for understanding exactly what's going on with these, as I've done the Wisps a few times now, and what I like to do is I'm going to start with one marker, in this case, berries. I recommend putting down all 20 of these markers on your map as well and going around to all these locations with me. If you go to one of these locations and you get the wisp, you then change it to something else. I'm going to use the Pokeball. However, if you go to one of these locations and you don't have a wisp there and you think maybe you got it beforehand, change it to the little ore icon. That's what I'm going to be doing. And then at the very end, if you're missing some, you know that the ore ones are not ones that you literally just got. Maybe you didn't make it nighttime and you need to go sleep again and then go check that location. That personally happened to me because I didn't realize that the game considered it to be in daytime. Again, 
sleep until nighttime, you're probably gonna have to do this a few times throughout this entire mission. I also wanna state for this area, you only need to have yourself the Pokemon ride of Weird Ear and the Basque Legion surfing ride. If you do not have Basque Legion, there are two that you cannot obtain down here. We're gonna be going in order from the top. First of all, we're gonna make our way to this rock right here. And this rock is going to require some creative Weird Deer jumping. I found that for this first wisp, if you walk up the left-hand side of this rock, hold run and then do a jump, you're gonna be able to get up here no problem. And that's gonna be our first wisp of the area. Next up, we're gonna be getting this one on Horseshoe Plains over here. If you know where the giant Rapidash is, it's gonna be on the hill next to the giant Rapidash. All you gotta do is run up the back of the rock jump up to the top. You can also get the iron ore while you're up here. And boom, that's our second wisp. Our third one is going to be this stamp right here at the Grueling Grove. If we look up, we can see that there's a variety of large cliffs that we can scale fairly easily with Weird Ear. And, and that, yep, there we go. Great. I'm gonna be saving this mainland area here for last. So now I wanna head down this left-hand side. Before we head down here, just a quick little pro tip. There's gonna be a side request here. If this is your first time entering this area, bring a scyther with you. The dude's gonna wanna see a scyther. Upon approaching the area where the Alpha Snorlax is gonna be located, there he is, he just needed to load in. You're gonna be able to climb up this side by the red tumble stone. And then as you climb up the top, you are gonna be able to grab this wisp right here. While we're halfway up this cliff, we are gonna be going to the one over here at Lake Verity, which you can do with Weird Ear as long as you time that jump right, get up here. And then if you look down the cliff a little bit, you are gonna be seeing that wisps start to appear right over there, right where I put the marker down. From Lake Verity, heading down to the Sand Gym Flats, we're going to be having one wisp that's gonna be appearing on the very large rock right next to where Alpha Alakazam is. Isn't that right, buddy? Next up, because we're so close, we're gonna be heading to this island over here, which is Romanus Island for this stamp. I'm also gonna be taking a quick detour at this request. Hey look, I found a Pokemon with a Scythe on each arm. There you go, who could have ever predicted I needed to have this Pokemon? Great, bye, Hemo. There's an Infernape. Yeah, just, just come over here and grab this one Wisp from Romanus Island. Huh, so weird that they have a island named for the place where legendary Pokemon are in, you know, the future game. Not, not this game or anything. Next up, we're gonna go to this sad little tiny island north of Romanus. And this sad little tiny island, boom, Will-O-Wisp. Now I'm gonna start tackling the ones that are here on the mainland, and friendly reminder, make sure it's nighttime. You can always just re-sleep till nighttime, does not do anything bad for you. And the first one we're gonna get is right up there. Right up there. <laughs> This one can be a little tricky with Weird Ear. However, if you come around the right hand side, you're gonna be able to jump to the rocks in the back and then easily scale the cliff up here. Or this wisp, 11 remaining. Pro tip, don't jump down. You can actually get KO'd from this height. So don't do that. Instead, at least go down a little bit first. The rest of the ones on the mainland, I'm gonna be starting at the Worn Bridge and working my way uh, counterclockwise or anti-clockwise, depending on what part of the world you live in. This is gonna be on the patch of land right in this tiny little alcove over here. Can't really miss it, especially if you head over to this Alpha Float Soul. Next up is going to be this one right by Deer Track Path. And it's, it's very out in the open. Very good chance you already grabbed this one. You probably walked up to the area and you were like, oh, I need to grab that. For the next one, directly west of camp, I'm actually going to be fast traveling back to camp. And from camp, if we head on over to that location on the map, there it is. You just want to jump down very safely and boom, wisp, eight remaining. Next up is going to be this one at the lower part of nature's pantry. This one is also fairly out in the open, overlooking this beautiful scape over here. Actually, you know what? This one might be a good one for a thumbnail. Give me a minute here. Yeah, look at that. That's that's thumbnail. Oh, wait, wait, maybe from the side with my braid hanging down. Yeah, that's that's the thumbnail. Great. Next up is going to be the last one on the mainland, and this is located all the way to the east. For that, I'm actually going to be fast traveling from camp since I know this one is pretty high up. For this one, from where I am on the map, we are going to be heading up the right side over where Gyarados is hanging out. And right on top of the hill, there we go. Oh, this one actually might be a better thumbnail. Eh, 
I like the other one more. From here, we're going to be fast traveling to the Grand Tree area, and all these are in a big line, so I'm actually going to start with the most inconvenient one all the way down here at the bottom. I always get stuck in this. I always get stuck in this one torch. All the time. All the time. I have to fa- I mean, I have gotten out once, but I have to fast travel out. So annoying. Why? Why? Can you guys just put an invisible wall there, please? Making our way to the very end, right next to the Cherubi tree. Ow. And right at the southernmost tip. Boom. Wisp. From here, we're gonna be heading to this bottom ridge. You may have passed this on your way over here. And this small hill is easily scalable. Next up is gonna be this small rock right next to the Tidewater Dam. And on top of this small rock overlooking where the Alpha Barrel is, there you go. From here, we're gonna be making our way to this northern part of the Heartwood, right overlooking a cliff. You can fall off of this one to your death, so be careful. Right at this location, right by where Star Raptor's hanging out. From here, we're gonna make our way on top of Ouroboro Tunnel. If you're not familiar with how to get on top of Ouroboro Tunnel, if you just come to the right-hand side, you could casually walk up here, hold B and then jump, and you should be able to get up here after one to two consecutive jumps while still running. And at the very top of the tunnel, there's gonna be our wisp. Our very last one is gonna be right down here at the base of Obsidian Falls. If you have Basque Legion, you might be able to make that jump. I'm gonna risk it. Yeet. Oh, wow, that was pretty epic. <laughs> Heading on over this way, we should be finding our very last wisp for the area. And we've collected all the wisps. Yay! Let's go ahead and speak with Vessa. Now that we have 27 wisp, we get the 10 whisper reward of a rare candy and the 20 wisp reward of a seed of mastery. Well, great. That's been all the wisp of the obsidian field lands. I hope you found this video helpful. I should have on the screen right now the next one. If it's out yet, if it's not out yet, then it's just going to appear as some other video. But when it's out, there we go. <laughs> if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. And until next time, Austin John out.